And here we are back to Farming Simulator 19 on Kiwi Farm. Remember last time I finished the episode saying that I finally activated a mod that I downloaded previously, which is this particular Bigfoot Mixer. And this Bigfoot Mixer is not only, you know, the mod itself, it's not just a trailer, uh, that can mix some pig food, it uh, also changes uh, the gameplay related to pigs. Now, pigs don't have their usual uh, four types of food, they have just two. One of them, the main food, is uh, mix ration or pig feed, and the second one is corn as main feed. So, what it does, so um, it basically makes uh, well, the mechanics uh, similar to, to cows. So you can feed your pig with uh, pig food uh, directly or with corn with, I think, uh, just 50% uh, efficiency. What this changes for me is not only the fact that it makes my uh, life easier, uh, that I can dump uh, my uh, all my four types of food uh, for pigs directly into the pig food mixer but it also allows me to play you know to change uh, the ratios for my uh, pig food for example i already I, I don't remember which was uh what was the uh, ratios of for these mods but i made it easier for me i made it that um each of the four types of food now is from 20 to 30 percent. So the aim is to mix my uh, pig food types at uh, equal ratios of 25 percent each. So 25 percent uh, barley slash uh, wheat, uh, 25 percent corn, 25 percent canola slash soybean slash um, sunflower, and 25% uh, uh, earth thoughts, uh, that is um, uh, potatoes and sugar beet. So yeah, that's the aim. Um, and as I was complaining that, uh, for example, earth fruits are only consumed at 5% uh, ratio, well, now finally we will uh, be able to make a good use for our sugar beet harvester that we already own at tier 2, as you can see on the left, Holmer Terrados tier 2. And later I will definitely um, invest into potato uh, planting and harvesting, which I think I never done on, on camera. So <laughs> I used to play with potatoes since they were introduced in FS2. Uh, 2011 or FS 2013, I don't remember which one, but I never did it on camera, so this uh, it's gonna be great to, to be able to harvest some potatoes. Uh, yeah, so for me, this is like a big change, and finally, I have this, uh, this mod. Well, one little downside is, of course, that the mixer itself uh, is just 16. I don't, I don't remember, it was 16 or or 17,000 liters. Well, for me, it's 16,000 uh, liters, and which is <laughs> not a lot. And I uh, introduced, for me, uh, this mixer at uh, directly at tier 10, as you can see, Silo King Pig Food, uh, Pig Food Mixer, tier 10, and Valtra uh, 114 at tier 10. So I decided to have a dedicated tractor uh, which is one of the smallest tractor, one of the cheapest tractors, actually. So <laughs> that that was the point uh, to get uh, one of the cheapest tractors. Uh, and yeah, now it's I'm using it at tier 10. And I guess my next upgrade is going to be at tier 20. So at tier t 10, it has a capacity, as you can see, at 160,000 liters. Yeah, here I had to dump. Uh, back uh, my pig food because I messed up uh, the mixing. So as I said, I made it roughly 25% each type of food, uh, but I can play a little bit from, so from, from
from 20 to 30 percent because um, in the game file of the mod and of the standard cow food mixer there is an interval so you can uh, not only change you know the uh, the main ratio but you can set it as an interval so i set it from 20 to 30 percent as for my uh, liquid uh, tanker let me see it's still a uh, tier 2 that is 64,000 liters which is not a lot, I should probably soon upgrade it. But yeah, um, now as usual, I will, um, when I have uh, enough food, I will feed my uh, pigs and cows and then fast forward for a number of days, two, three, four days, and then I'm gonna sell uh, mainly only pigs right now because in terms of cows, I still don't have uh, that many. I decided not to buy any, any additional cows. So I started, I think, with 10 cows, which were given at the beginning uh, of, the, of the game. And then I'm multiplying them uh, just from, from 10 cows. I guess at some point, when we'll, I'll have like two or 300, I'll start also sell some of the excess cows. For the time being, um, I have what I have. Uh, as for my animal trailer, uh, as you can see on the left, it's tier 5, Phoenix truck tier 5 and Wilson Silver Star, which is the, the summer trailer, a tier 5. And tier 5 means uh, 200 pigs. So now when I make a, I make a pig delivery, I'm making 200,000 um, euros in my case. Uh, yeah, that's actually a lot of money when you relate it to to the to the default game. But for me, you know, I'm used to making millions. is not is not a lot actually. So um, at some point, I will. Uh, increase the tier of my animal trailer so uh, after 200 pigs i guess it's gonna be 400 and then 16 uh, 60 no 600 uh yeah if you remember in my previous seasons i used to have um, deliveries of meat that is uh on the order of millions like two or three millions per delivery so uh, <laughs> there is uh, some space to grow yeah and for those who are new to my my uh, my series maybe this uh, looks strange or odd but if you get to know my tier system it's not it's a way of uh, you know of expanding of growing so uh, it's it's an additional element of RPG, so role playing. Uh, it's not a mod. I'm doing it manually, so I'm I'm modifying myself uh, in-game files, but I'm doing it on a fair basis. So when I'm increase um, the tier of one of my vehicles one fold, I um, pay an additional price uh, of um, of the vehicle itself um, if it's if it's a trailer like for example a loading wagon then I have to also pay an additional price of, uh, of the tractor and the trailer itself so for example if I would like to increase uh, the tier of my loading wagon which let's say I don't know how uh, much is uh, is the price of a trailer let's say 120,000 uh, so uh, I'll have to pay a price of the tractor itself which can be like 350,000 and 120,000 for the trailer this will give me twice the capacity of the trailer and uh, twice the speed you know the working speed so, for example, if the normal working speed of this particular loading trailer is 20 kilometers an hour, 
well it gets lower if um, you know if it's damaged if it's used but normally it's 20 kilometers at tier 2 respectively it's gonna be 20 kilometers an hour the speed so not only it gets twice the capacity but it also gets twice the speed of course to a certain limit so in my previous seasons the limit used to be 60 kilometers so up to tier 3 I was increasing also the speed but not past beyond that so if I'm going at tier uh, 4 5 10 for example I stop increasing the speed because it becomes crazy and the game engine engine has some problem with it so I stop increasing the speed but I continue to increase the capacity so this way I get a sense of uh, you know of achievement of, uh, of uh, uh, getting somewhere you know for the most part I um, tend to show you all my gameplay so all the gameplay footage sometimes I may cut uh, just the fast forwarding so for example if I'm I'm waiting for something to happen for example uh, for a crop to mature or for my animals to you know increase the number to a certain point and I'm just sitting there and waiting uh, for the time to fast forward I may cut the footage or for example if I have to make like six animal deliveries um, pig deliveries in a row I may show you one or two deliveries and then the rest the rest of the four deliveries I, I, I cut the footage because I I feel like it becomes uh, too repetitive uh, but I've, outside of that I tend to show you all my gameplay um, you know, as opposed to other YouTubers, which uh, usually show uh, some uh, highlights. But on the other hand, you get to see everything. So you get to see me uh, making all these millions. Uh, right now, as you can see, I had more than two millions. But one, I upgraded my Fan 1000 to the highest, um, you know, engine uh, option. And I also bought my, uh, well, the biggest in-game uh, seed drop, which is this seed hog something something. <laughs> I don't remember the exact uh, uh, model number. Uh, I think it has something on the order of 17,000 liters seeds and uh, fertilizer. For the time being, I'm gonna use it at tier one that's why it's not shown on the menu on the left uh, so I guess in a future episode when I'll increase the tier of all my implements and also of my tractors you'll start seeing additional um, items on uh, on the left menu uh, as it is right now you're seeing only the equipment that has higher than tier 1 also one thing that happened in the meantime is I made a little up upgrade to my um, notebook laptop uh, for those who have been following me uh, you probably know that um, uh, my lifestyle, my work style, uh, is forcing me to travel around the country, uh, France that is. So I'm spending my nights at hotels like right now. So the only way of playing the game and recording this footage is uh, playing on a laptop. And you can see uh, the specifications of my laptop in the video description. So I have an MSI uh, laptop with an i7. Um, uh, processor uh, and, a G and an NVIDIA GTX 1070 uh, graphics card and it was getting uh, at some point it was getting too hot so I had to actually buy um, uh, you know a fan ventilator fan a notebook cooler that is um, I used to think that these notebook coolers are useless 
you know, because they cool, uh, uh, you know, the down, the down part of your notebook. But at some point, I figure out that my laptop is getting too hot, and uh, for that reason, it was bottlenecking. So I finally decided, and I bought one of the. I don't remember the exact model. Is one of the top seller uh, laptop coolers on the Amazon. I paid something like 30 euros and now I'm using it and it's really making a difference uh, now my laptop is not bottlenecking so yeah it, it makes a little bit of noise but on the other hand it's cooling my laptop now the, uh, my next upgrade um, would be to cut some holes in my laptop I know it sounds uh, strange and uh, uh, so but yeah I think it it's gonna it's gonna make even more difference if I'm gonna cut some holes because uh, if you know the construction of laptops in general on one side it has the CPU and on the other side it has the GPU and it has two separate coolers for the CPU and GPU but my specific MSI notebook on the CPU side it has a hole but on the GPU side it doesn't have a hole for some reason so uh, now my cooler is cooling you know the plastic <laughs> the plastic of my notebook but it doesn't it doesn't you know the air the cold air it doesn't penetrate the notebook itself so I'm planning to maybe cut some holes if I found, I found out a way to uh, to do it of course and I hope it's gonna make uh, a difference. Now at home, of course, I have um, a desktop computer, um, the specs of which you can also see in the video description, but I'm using it just for uh, video transcoding. I'm not using it for uh, playing and recording. So yeah. Okay, uh, now related to what is happening on the screen, uh, one little modification is that I decided to modify my Amazon Condor uh, so that you can also seed or plant corn now. So yeah, I'm gonna do my corn planting with the, my Amazon Condor now that I have my seed hog for the rest of the grains. As for um, sugar beet planting, I'm still gonna use my, my previous um, uh, planter, but I'm gonna use the Amazon Condor just for uh, planting corn. Because if you find the official site of Amazon, the you know, agricultural implement builder, you'll find that this specific planter can actually plant some corn. So that's why I'm using it for, for that. As you can see for sunflower, I'm still using uh, uh, this planter. I just sold a batch of milk. And as I said, this um, liquid uh, tanker is long due for an upgrade. But each time I uh, either I decide that it's not the time to upgrade it, either I'm just lazy to go back and upgrade it. But yeah, at some point I'll have to upgrade it definitely. Uh, yeah, now why did I choose sunflower as opposed to canola or soybeans? Again, just to diversify. So, uh, um, you know, for um, for protein uh, crop, one of the four that you have to mix for your pigs, you you get to choose between canola, soybeans, and sunflower. So I had previously the other two. Now I decided to do some sunflower. Now sunflower, as opposed to canola and soybeans, has to be 
planted with a planter as opposed to a you know direct seeder and not only that it requires the corn handler so when harvesting you have the option either to use a specialized sunflower uh, header uh, which I think it's quite narrow it's just 10 meters wide uh, yeah or you can use the corn header so you have uh, this option Okay, so as I was saying in my previous episode, I intended to have a dedicated field for grass. So this is what I just did. I took my giant seed hog uh, seeder and I set it with a helper to seed one of my uh, merge field because there's actually four fields here, which I merged into two. And then later, you'll see in a future episode, I will merge them in uh, in just one field. Uh, in this case, a grass field. So finally, I'm going to have a dedicated, a dedicated grass field. Because up to this point, I was mowing the grass around the fields. Uh, which was great, uh, as long as my uh, crossplay was working. But now, as it doesn't work... Um, I'm gonna have to rely either doing the work myself or using a standard helper on the field. Also, in the meantime, I'm fertilizing my uh, my fields. Uh, in this case, with uh, corn, as opposed to FS17, FS19 has just two. Uh, fertilization states so they simplify the game somewhat so if you're using a seeder or a planter that that can also fertilize uh, then later you have to apply just one additional fertilization state okay and by the looking of it this episode soon it's gonna be over I will of course finish uh, seeding this grass field so please if you have any suggestion or you just want to express yourself please do it in the comment section below don't forget to like this video if you really enjoyed it and don't forget to hit that bell button i hope to see you all next time and as usual i wish you all a great day a great week depending when you're watching see you next time bye bye